In this video, I'm going to cover creating the utility legend portion of the D Sheets legend. So we're going to start off. I've created my legend sheet. I'm in my utility legend view here. Bring my references up here, and I'm going to go ahead and attach in my survey sheet here. Just go ahead and we're going to have it come in at one inch equals fifty. Doesn't need to be nested. Just go ahead and hit OK. To find that, we're going to just hit that. Hit our fit view there. And we can just go ahead and select the reference. I like to just get it close to where I'm going to be placing it. So I'll just do this to get it started. And maximize. That will just move it over here to the side so we're not working. right on top of everything. So what we're looking at here is this information down here. So what we'll do is we're going to select that information, use my spacebar to get my pop-up here, I'm going to copy it. Bring it over here and you're going to see here that it's not coming in quite right. You see it's coming over the border here so this is how we're going to fix that. Once we have this here, we're just going to go ahead and come into our regular home here. I'm going to drop element here. Make sure that's selected. That way we can get it in active, not as that one cell. And then we're just going to go ahead and delete this box here. Next thing we're going to do to get this cleaned up is we're going to go ahead and use a select to like that. We're going to select all the lines. So what we're going to need to do with the lines is we're going to get them to a length of 115. And then we need to come down here to the line style parameters. I'm going to change the scale here to 2.4. And there we go. Now you can see it, everything's coming in looking good there. Now we're going to get our text here and get that fixed here. First, we just need to change our font name. Let's go in here. If you just hit E twice, it'll get you down here to the E's we want. And we're looking for this engineering vert. Let's see, we're almost there. So then we just got to get our height 11.25. 11.25 for our height and width. And there you go, you see we're pretty much there now, and then we just got to move our text over a little bit here. And what I found works really good, it's moving it 30 feet over. And there we go, now we've got it fitting inside of there, and then I'll just come in here and give this a quick little move here, and just kind of touch it up here, get it a little bit more centered. And there we go, we've got it in there, so now we can go ahead and... Uh, there, there was now going to be here also this example text that's going to give you the correct height, width, and font name for it, and an example line that's going to give you the length and the line style parameters. So if you need to find them, they're just going to be right here over to the side. So we're just going to go ahead and we'll go back to that D sheet legend now. And you'll see here that now it's coming in correctly for printing on the D sheet legend.